Hi everyone, thanks for visiting my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Carol, the Thrifty Chic Housewife. So today I'm going to bring you one more Easter recipe. Uh, we have Easter coming up this weekend, so I thought I would toss in one more great recipe for you, and it will probably be the easiest thing on your menu. So today we're gonna to be making pineapple stuffing. Super simple stuff here, uh, basic ingredients. You're gonna need some sugar, I'm gonna be using both white and brown sugar. I like that complex flavor, but that's up to you. You can use all white sugar if you prefer. Uh, we're gonna be using some butter, um, four eggs. You need a can of crushed pineapple, and then I'm gonna to toss in some chunked pineapple as well. You can leave that out, it's totally up to you, but I'm gonna throw some of that in. Um, but you can do it without that. And then you also need five slices of bread. In my opinion, white bread works best here. I don't think a whole grain or a grainy bread would work very well here, but that's up to you. If you wanna go that route, that's fine too, but you need about five slices. I'm gonna be using my rustic Italian bread. I whipped up a batch of that the other day, and it's just a nice basic white bread, so I'm gonna be using that, but you can use commercial bread as well. If you're interested in the recipe for the rustic Italian bread, I'll link it up here for you um, in case you want to make that at some point. Um, but it's not necessary for this recipe. And then uh, you just cream together your butter and your sugar. We're gonna add our eggs and then you just stir everything else in. Super simple. And then we're gonna bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for 50 minutes to an hour. So I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see what's going on in my bowl and we'll get started. Okay guys, here we go. I have one stick of butter. We are going to add one half cup of granulated sugar and a quarter of a cup of packed brown sugar. Packed in there a little too tight. And we're going to go ahead and cream that together. Now you could use all granulated sugar here. If you want a sweeter stuffing, you could add as much as a cup of sugar. I'm doing three quarters of a cup to cut out some of the sweetness, but that's up to you. So let's cream that together. Okay, once your butter and your sugar are creamed together, we can go ahead and mix in our eggs. We need four eggs. Okay, once all that's mixed together, we're going to stir in one 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple in its own juice, and we're gonna use the juice and all. And we're gonna stir that in. I'm also gonna stir in some chunks. All I had was a large can of chunks. This can has been drained. Um, I, and I'm only gonna use about half of it. and then we're going to stir in our chunks of bread. Easy peasy, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take a greased, actually I buttered mine, uh, my baking dish, and we're gonna go ahead and pour all that into the baking dish. gonna pop it in the oven, bake it on 350 degrees for 50 minutes to an hour. And
guys, we are all done. I baked my pineapple stuffing for right about an hour. I like for it to get nice and golden brown on top, but 50 minutes to an hour is totally fine. Just depends on how much um, crispiness and how much color you want to the top of your stuffing. But I wanted to bring you in close so you can see how beautiful it is. Doesn't that look yummy? Perfect side dish to go with your Easter ham. So let's give it a taste and see how we did. Beautiful chunks of the bread and the chunky pineapple. I love the chunky pineapple in there, but again, that is totally optional. You don't have to add that. The um, crushed pineapple is fine to use just that if you prefer. You could also use uh, fresh pineapple instead of the canned. I don't know if I said that or not, but you can. So let's give it a taste. Mm, really yummy. In my personal opinion, this is the perfect sweetness. It's not so sweet that it goes over into the dessert category. It's just perfect for a lovely side, something different. It's really bright and refreshing. Um, doesn't feel heavy, which I think is great for the time of year. It's spring, it's Easter, so it works really well for having a lighter texture and flavor to it so it's just in my mind it's just perfect it's totally delicious but like i said if you wanted it to be more on the sweeter side and make it more like a dessert you can add more sugar that works well also it's just your preference and what you're looking for but here you go another great side for your easter feast and totally versatile you can change it up however you want to but it's so simple and easy to do so i hope you'll give it a try if you have any questions or comments for me leave them in the comment section below like subscribe and share and i will see you next time have a great day you guys and happy easter Mwah.